Hey guys and welcome to Momentum channel. For the upcoming episode of Momentum Mondays, we have an exciting show planned for you. Here's a sneak preview. Uh, I've been in Arizona most of my adult life. I'm 34 now. And the reason I'm on the channel and talking with you today is related to my real estate experience, which I started investing in about 10 years ago. So I've worked, a, a, like I said, a corporate job for pretty much my entire adult life. And I climbed up the corporate ladder pretty early on and, and found myself in management roles. And I found myself feeling really fulfilled by the the filling my days with helping people, developing people, coaching people, mentoring people. And so when I got started with real estate investing, I, I always wanted to see if I could find a way to incorporate that side of me of that where I really enjoy coaching and developing and mentoring people, but through real estate instead. So in the back of my mind, I always thought like, maybe I'll write a book someday or, you know, I wasn't sure exactly what it looked like, but I figured first things first, I need to get some real experience under my belt. And then after that, I'd, I would like to share those experiences with the world. And so, you know, fast forward to last year, and I finally just kind of built up the courage to start my channel and start filming videos. And that house is a lot of what inspired me to start flipping houses because the house was $179,000 and it was a beautifully finished home, nice, nicely remodeled, you know, the kitchen, the bathrooms, the flooring, everything. And here I was first time home buyer with a very, you know, didn't have a whole lot of money to put down. So I needed something turnkey ready to go. I've lost count of how many houses I've bought and sold over the years because there, there really have been so many and, and so many different kinds, but it's been an average of two or three per year since then. Originally, I thought that I was starting a house flipping business and that was my, my plan and my vision and my goal. Now, I know in one of your videos, you introduced uh, you buying actually a commercial uh, real estate. So definitely you're keeping your options open. Do you mind sharing a little bit of that uh, story? How's that going? That's not the way that I envisioned that one to go. I planned to buy it, find a tenant within three to six months and then hold it for five years. But we bought it, found a tenant in three months, and then ultimately they wanted to buy it. And that's just what made the most sense. I've been fascinated with commercial since I got started. And long term, I knew I always wanted to, to move my business in that direction. But I wanted to have a lot of experience with residential first, just because it's comfortable. You know, we all grew up in a you know, three bedroom, two bath house or something similar like this. It's just very comfortable for me to wrap my head around the idea of buying, fixing up and selling houses like this. Um, it was very scary to me to think about investing in commercial early on, but now I've become more comfortable with it. So my advice before anything else is to get educated. So start by you know, following channels like yours, reading books, blogs, podcasts, uh, get educated, building a network of people in your local community, real estate agents, contractors, stagers, designers, everyone in the business, just start talking to people. And through these conversations and through your studies, you'll start to learn more about the business. Mm -hmm. After you have a foundation of education, do your first deal. It's going to be scary. It's never going to be comfortable and it's never going to feel just right, but you just need to get your feet wet with your first deal. And of course, I recommend trying to be as conservative as you can with that one. You know, as far as, you know, if you think it might cost 30,000 to remodel the house, pencil it out where it's going to cost 40,000 to remodel the house because it probably will, you know, and kind of pad all your numbers in every direction to make the, to, to make it a little bit of a safer investment for you, but you've got to just rip off the bandaid and do your first deal. And you will learn so much from that first deal and you will gain so much confidence for that first deal that your second one will follow shortly after for sure.